all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial be trying to see how to design and build a julia package right so this is going to be our simple workflow so we're going to be seeing how to design and build a package from scratch and then see how to publish it in the coming sessions so let's see what we're we'll doing so in designing any package right you must first of all follow the rules and the guidelines such as the naming of the package and then the purpose of the package right what is the package going to do so the first step is going to design right and i'm going to build our package and some of the ways we can design and build your package in julia is to use the default option that comes with the package or dev package dev or jl function or you can use package template or package skeleton or jl to help you be able to build a mock-up or let's say a template right for everything which is very good and then you can also use revise or jl to help you reload it in, reload your package in case you are doing development so that is the basic packages you'll be using right in this session then after designing and building it you are going to write some unit tests and then you're going to see how to publish it that's going to be the next session then in publishing you are publishing two things you're publishing the package itself right to the julia registry and then you're also publishing the documentation which is part of the part of the software part of the package and you can use documenta.jl or documenta2.jl both of them so that is how to that's going to be our workflow right so this is going to be a very exciting tutorial so apologies for the noise maybe hearing behind and then apologies for how fast i'll be okay so let's go back so this is going to be our repository so anytime you design any package in julia or you build a package in julia all the packages goes to you can search it from here right julia packages here you can search it from here right so these are all the packages training packages develop packages and the rest right very nice and now please can also check for your packages in julia is to go to the julia registries general here if i go to the julia registry general all the packages that you can use something like this i go back to my julia all the packages that you can install with this option if i go to the package mode and i go with the add something let's say some package like data frame right any package you can use this to install is already available here right all the packages are here and have been sorted well so that is the main repository right so you can search for it here using julia packages here or you can use julia observer right. there's also juliaobserver.com which is also another place that you can you can see or you can see what the package that is available right so either use julia packages here or use julia observer right which is another place you can search for packages that is going to be this is, a, this is these are the place that your package right it's like the julia registry that's where your packages can be found right so let's see how to do that so first of all let's go with the first rule in designing we need to be able to make sure that the package is not available the name you're using is not available so i'll go back here and i'll search for the name of the package so i'm going to call it as uh, this is going to be our steps so i'll go back here and call it as contractions that's the name of the package we are trying to build right contractions so if i search search down i'm going to see if the package is available i'm searching it in julia observer and i'm also going to search it from the julia packages right so this is going to be contractions I, I want to make sure that it's not the name the name has not been taken already that is why i'm going through these steps you have to make sure that you have internet if i check it i think it's not available now i think the package is not available right so there's no package available and there is no packages like that available here right so that means that the name is not taken so you can use that particular name very simple you can also search for it here so let's move on from that so i'll go back again to my workspace here right and then we're trying the first method this is already installed so let's close it we're trying the first method so the first method as we saw is to use the default method right then later on we see the package template so i'll go back again go back and then i'll Go to the same place document jlabs let's go to our project here that's where we are working i'm moving to my julia package development there's nothing here right so the first option is that you can just go to go to your julia i'm using julia 1.5 you can use julia 1.6 any version then you go to the package mode right with this particular command here right then you first of all specify that you want to generate a package so generate then give it the give the name of the package so contractions right if i go with this it's going to automatically create a folder with this thing there right and if i split this one let's split it horizontally 
the same place let's go let's go vertical yeah let me make it bigger let's go vertical if i go to the same place that we are working on here into my julia yeah it's supposed to be inside project cd outside of this place to julia project my julia packages right if I go back here and I check it now, you see that we have this contractions there. And if I check it out, so three, so we have the same thing that has been spe specified. So we have the project automa file, we have the source, right? Which is this is a basic way of designing a package in Julia using this particular approach. It's the first method, right? Perfect. Now, after that, I'm just going to go out from this place, right? Move out, and then I'll come to the shell mode, and I'll move into my contractions. I'll move into this particular contractions folder right now I'm currently in the contractions folder if I check for the present working directory I'm in this particular folder right so this is a wrong command I'm supposed to be in the shell mode so go back with the shell mode then PWD it's perfect so I'm already there now from here I can now activate it so I'll just move on and go to the package mode and activate dot so if I go with activate dot now it's going to activate that particular environment. You can see that now I'm in that particular environment, right? So everything I'll be doing is inside this particular environment. Very simple, right? So let's open this particular folder. So I'll move into my contractions folder. I'll use Sublime just to open it. So if I open it, you can see that it's open for my, I'm using Sublime test. If I go back here, I can see that we have my source there. Inside here, we have Martin there, right? Very simple, and you have my project .tomo file. So this is a basic way of designing it with the the name of the package, the author, and then the version. Right? Very simple. That is a basic way of designing a package. Very simple, very basic. And then after this is how to define it. So this is a package. So and the package is any file with the model. Right? So the model is a collection of functions. Right? Very simple. So now I have to export it. If I export this particular one, export grid. So let's go to hello package development hello package development right something like that so if i export it now i can export this one I'll always put the spot at the top it's going to be on a spot right perfect so that is it so this is a simple package you have designed right perfect now I just go back again to the workspace where we are here then i'll move on from here right to this place and i just go with the third so this is we already activated in that particular environment so i can just go back again to the same place and specify that in case that there's a test there i can just put there or i can just come out from the package mode to the julia main mode and then go with using right using contractions contractions right if i go with this it's now going to pre-compile it as you can see it's pre-compiling and it's giving us an error right so the reason it's giving us an error is because of how we have written the code here right so it's telling us there's a mistake somewhere. So extra token here after after some place. Just to go back and check it out. So go back here. Yeah, right. When we are exporting, we don't export the function. That is why. I'll just go back again. And then if I go back, I'll just run it again. It's going to pre-compile it. Perfect. Now, if I want to see the things there, names, this is similar to doing something like this in Python. So DRL, right? In Python. So it's going to be this. So there are in Julia, it's going to be like this. Same as names, the name of the package, right? So package name is going to list all of them for us. So if I go back again, I do names, then the package is contractions. It's going to list the functions and all the attributes on that particular stuff for us, right? So we have contractions and then grid. Very simple. That is the first method of designing a package, right? Using the default system. Perfect. This is good. Now let's move on from here, right? And see how to use a package template as the next alternative to design a package. So this is going to be step method number two. So I just go back again. So the first step, as we already know, in designing the package using the default method is that you just go with generate contractions, right? The, the package name, you move into the particular package and then you activate the working environment it's going to transform it to this particular option here right it's going to activate the environment 
and then you can actually work on it using using contractions right and if you have any error you just fix them that is how to work on it very simple very good right in case you also want to run test you will see that one in the next session very simple that is the simplest approach now let's move on to the next option so i'm just going to get out of this place right so we are still in the same location that we are here, contractions and i'm going to make another folder so i'm going to going to get out from this place right in the same place we are right there's nothing i'm going to make another option right for us to work on it so this is going to be another approach we can use right apart from this so this was the first one contractions we want to create another option so i'm going to move from here into my github repository there's another alternative then into my github right have a repository called github right and then i'll just go back to this is another alternative right? i'll just go back again to my github repository here yes you can say i'm going to create a repository so you can actually create a repository here which you'll be using later on i'm just going to go back again create a new repository or repository anyhow you call it right and then you can just give it that particular name so let's go back first and do from here first right so i just go back again so this is here so i'll just come back here as you can see there's nothing here now i want to create the name of the package right so the simplest way is using the package approach so julia perfect and then here i can now specify this particular package so we're using pkg template so in case you don't have this particular package and you want to install it just go back to the package mode and add pkg templates right that is how to install it on your system in case you don't have it but i already have it so i'm just going to go with using hope everybody can see it well yeah using pkg templates right so it's going to activate this particular package right perfect and then from here i'm going to specify the template that i want to use so i just go back again you can actually check the command step i'll just go back to my workspace this is the command i already have it in my snap snip snip or snap tricks right so these are the things i'll be using so the first one these are what i'm going to use right so the template i'm going to create a template and a template is going to be this is going to be my username so this is going to be your github name so if i have my github name as jcaristic here or jcaris anyhow it is right that's what i'm going to be specifying there right very simple so let's any of them so that's going to be the name you'll be putting here right so that is going to be your username then this is going to be the author right that is yourself or any people you'll be working with then this particular option is to specify that okay use a current directory right to create or create your template within the current directory then this is going to be the version you are using right the particular version you're using let me make it like this option so you can see it all julia right so Right, so this is the simplest option right so in this case we are trying to tell you that this is going to be the current directory create the template for the package in the current directory this is going to be the current version so if i go back again to this place and i specify version right it's going to give us the version of julia there so automatically going to pick the version right that is a command we are seeing here right perfect then the plugin so i want to specify the lenses i'm using mit Right. and then this i want to also activate git i also want to activate github actions code coverage this is supposed to be small later right so it's going to help me cover and check for code coverage the coverage of how many functions are being used and the commenter to help us with the documentation right very simple so i'm just going to copy this entire stuff here that we have copy this to my workspace perfect if there's any error it's going to tell us right I forgot the comma so i have to face the comma here there's a comma supposed to be here so if i go back here selling us missing comma so i have to put the comma so let's go back again and then put the comma there there's a comma here right perfect so everything is as expected open it now i'm going to create a template so these are templates we'll be using to design our package take some time for you to make sure that everything is correct let me fix this one here so there's supposed to be a comma here perfect 
so the next code that we need is to be able to generate after, after creating the template this is very simple this is very very useful right i prefer you use this method than the first method so just finish so that you can see that it's giving us all of these commands there perfect so everything is, has been fixed so it's going to give us all of this information right so the directory current directory is this place the host right then the uh, this page will be hosted the version of julia the user the plugin you can modify some of these things right later on so this is very interesting okay so i'll just go back again and then i'll just go back here and i'll specify that okay use a template t right the t was what you specified so t i'm going to paste in the name of the package so let's go to contractions contractions right so that's the name of the package so i'm just going to create this particular package there so it's running pre-hooks going to if you check this particular place that you're working on into my J GitHub, you can see that it's going to be creating it here it's going to create the contractions folder here so that has created it right if i go into this contractions folder you can see that now it's creating the project the file but as all of these things have been done everything there is going to be completed right it's taking some time so all this we are doing is the first step designing and building so we have seen the first two methods we'll be trying to see the second method of package of this particular option perfect so we see that now it is building everything as as we we're saying right so it is it has it's activating the environment the same thing we did earlier on importing all the various things that we need all the necessary packages then after that that's finished right that's perfect everything is done completed so if i go back here and i check it out again so three for the contractions three so now it has given us all of these things right it's very cool right very very interesting all of these particular things are there so let's go back again from here right so i go back to my contractions for that if i do three and so now that's giving us a simple overview of it right so we have the documentation this is very important to help us with our documentation aspect of it which is for this place right and then for the packaging aspect you also have this add aspect right so this is going to be for all of this is for the package aspect right and all of these things is for the documentation very interesting so everything is there now i can just go back again and open it from sublime so sublime perfect i'm going to open from sublime test we have this, let me go through this so the first one here is the workflow so the workflow is very important is usually for the build stage in case you want to build your you want to build for the test for the publication of the package and the documentation that is where we use this workflow right that's where we use this workflow so inside the workflow we have the ci for continuous integration which is going to tell us that okay anytime i push or do a pull request do this particular job right this is you don't change anything here just leave it like that right Okay, that's going to be the first one. Then the compact helper is going to help you to know how compatible it is, right? Then you also have the tag bot. So the tag bot is going to help you with the publication, which is automatically going to be on GitHub, right? As you are seeing, going to anytime you tag it, it's going to generate a tag release for your app, right? This is going to be for this particular aspect of it. The tag bot also when you are trying to publish it. Then if you go back again, so this is for the workflow, right? And if I go back to the docs. As we said, we also supposed to work on the documentation. If I go back to the documentation, we have these options here. We have the make file, which is going to build your contraction at the name of the packet, the documenter, as we saw earlier on. And this is going to be the author, the repository name, where it's going to be stored. And then you can modify these things as you wish, right? You can, so this way it's going to be stored. You can even change this one from this to, let's say, jcarry stack or any other spec, right? Very simple. Then from here, I'll just go back again to my manifest tomo file with the manifest tab the project tomo file with the bd details this is for the documentation then if i go back to the source this is where the code is going to be the actual code if i check it out you have my simple code here and then you have my test whereby i'll be running my test very simple so this package make it very easy for you to design and build your stuff okay so let's move on from here to the code itself so this is going to be the code and we'll be trying to write a simple function to help us face our contractions so to make our work easy i'll just go back again and copy the code because we don't want to spend a lot of time here 
If I go back again, and I'm going to copy the code. So we are creating a simple function called face contractions function here, which is going to work do our work for us. I'll copy this one here, and I'll go back and paste it. We are building a very simple basic Julia function. So I'm going to write it here. Right. So this is a simple function we are creating, right? So a simple package, very simple for facing contractions. So the first one is you have the contraction package, you have the face, right? So this face contractions will pick in the test, right? Which is any particular particular type of test, you want to replace them accordingly. Very simple, right? It's bad way of writing, but it's still going to work. Perfect. Then we need to export this particular one. So I'll just go back again. Then I'm going to export the package. So export the package. This is going to be my export then face contractions right we also need to give a documentation here so let's go back again and give a documentation for this so this is how we give documentation this is one of the first methods on top of the function i'm going to specify that okay this is going to be a function called face contractions right perfect right and what does this person do this is going to face uh, contractions in a given test right then I can also specify the parameters. Let's say param. Oh yeah, anyhow you want to call it. So this is going to be the first parameter is going to be let's say we have our test, right? Which is going to be an abstract string. So abstract string, which I can call it as a given test, right? Right, perfect. That is something very simple. Very simple function. So we can add another function to it, let's say add contractions. And the rest right so you can also add all of these things to it so that's going to be something later on you can do so we can just do a simple function like that to help us so let's add as one so it's going to be back here i want to add a contractions function so we have a face contraction right perfect so let's test this one so in case i want to test it i'll just go back again to my workspace which is here I'm working on, then I have to activate it as I said, I have to activate that particular environment. So to activate it, just go back again and activate. Remember that you are already in that particular location here. You go to the shell mode and check for the LS. We are here, let's move into the contractions. Seed into contractions folder. So I'm in the wrong place. I always, I don't know why I always make this mistake. We're going to fit it anyway. Go to the shell mode, then CD into the contractions, contractions folder, right? So that's what you're trying to move into. Then from here, I can now activate it. So let's activate it. So go back here, activate. Dot. So perfect. So we have activated this. We are now working in our work, work environment. And I can just check for the status with ST. If I go with ST, can just check all the particular things you already installed in this particular environment so this is the status of this particular package it's an empty project directory perfect so let's work on it so in case i want to go back i just go back again switch to the shell mode and go with using contractions and then if i go with using contractions it's going to pre-compile it if it's available and then we can do some stuff so pre-compiling it and now it's building it if it has finished compiling, so I can just check for the names of this. So names that is the DRL, so contractions to list all the various functions of this particular package. So we have just two elements. We have the face contractions and the contraction. So I want to see if it's going to work. So I'm just going to pass in my example document one. Let's say he write something like this. Be there. To he'll be there if not he if not I or see if not I can't right something like that so we can say we have two contractions within this particular test so he'll be there if not I can't right so I want to face the contractions for this particular one so I can just go back to the same thing so the simplest way I prefer is just go with this option contractions dot face contractions this is the first method now pass in my Docs, so docs one. So it's going to run it and then fit it. So he will be there, right? If not, I cannot. So I was able to fit. First, I cannot. I can't, right? So if not, I can't. I cannot. 
very simple. If you're not able to fix this, so that means that you are supposed to add it to our test, right? So we need to create another function to add our own custom, our own custom, how do I say it? Yeah, our own custom function to it. So I can just go back again and then fill that one out. So let's check it out, right? So apart from that, right, it worked well, but one of the ways I feel we can use to fix this particular option here is that we can actually convert the test, the given test supplied into lowercase so that it matches them, right? Because the he wall is already there. The he wall is there, right? So we can actually convert it to lowercase and check it out. But if you are going to convert to lowercase, that means that all of these things too, we also have to make sure that these ones too are also converted to uppercase, right? So that is another way you should also think about. So you can actually add that particular function to it. So if I go back here, the same function here, right? And I just go with, let's say, uh, contractions, this option contractions and then lowercase that is going to fix everything so he'll be there if not i cannot write it perfect so it is able to fix the entire stuff well so that is another thing you should be thinking about you can leave this one for the user or you can keep it like that very simple so we have seen how to design something very basic so since we have tested it so from here everything is working so we can actually now move on and use this one to write some test so we are done with the designer of the app right building with the package template now let's see how to write some simple test so i just go back again to the contractors folder we have our run test here we have our using test and then test set i can write my test here. so let's write the test so this is how i write my test so we have already tested a function here just so i'll copy this stuff here go back to my test folder paste it there and then from there, I'm just going to specify that, okay, a test, right? And I'm going to specify that, okay, use the contractions function, then face contractions, so face contractions. Now passing my docs one, right? I'm going to give the result. So what was the result? So the result was this option here, right? So let's write two tests. One is going to be for lower, and one is going to be for upper. So I just go back again. To here and I'll paste it here, right? So this is one way, but what I prefer is that most of the time I prefer to do it this way, this way, the result, right? And I'm just going to call it as result for face contractions. I'll paste in the results here. I prefer to do this way than this. Then I'll, I'll just equate it to this particular variable. So result for face contractions, one. Let's create another one. So result for face contractions lowercase right lowercase something like that then i'm going to go back again and then copy this one here it's going to be this option so now i'm, I'm testing that particular function so this is going to be the next option so we test copy this one repeat it so face contractions, lowercase. Then this is going to be the result for lowercase contraction, lowercase. Face contractions. Perfect, right? So that is all, right? Something very basic. Okay, so we have built a simple test. So how do we test this particular function, right? If you just go back again, to the same work piece that you're working, right? And just go with the word test. We are already activated, so just go back again to the test mode, then specify the term test. So it must be going to identify the test folder here. The run test, it must always be named as run test, right? You have to name it as run test, otherwise it's not going to identify it. I'm going to test all of them, I'm going to give us the result of our test. So all that you are doing is for this particular step here. So it's testing this. It's going to tell us test field. So we're going to see why the test failed. So based on the result, it's telling us the test field, right? There were two tests, all of them one field, right? So the reason is that it's going to tell us why it failed. So this was what it was evaluated. So he will be there if not I cannot come. He'll be there if not I cannot come. Right. So we are supposed to this is the evaluated one. We're supposed to fix it. So I'll just go back again. And work on that one here. So let's go back again. So 
the reason it failed was here, right? You're supposed to face it here. So I'll just face it. Go back again. Run the test. Let's go back again and run the test again. Run it so every if everything passed, then we can just push it to the next stage of the work. From if everything passed, you can now publish it to GitHub and then you work on the documentation in the next session. So it has filled again at 11. So let's check what 11 is. Here, this is where it failed. So result for face contractions. You have to fix this one. Yeah, okay, I see why it failed. Right? Everything it failed was that this was the original test here. So we need to be able to get the original test. That's why it failed. So this is the evaluated. It's not the right one. It's supposed to be in the best option. So I have to run the code again. So let me fix it. It's going to be this option. He will be there. If not, I cannot come. So this is going to replace this. Yeah. Now, if I run it again, it's going to work. So this is the importance of writing unit tests so that you know that your code is actually working. Perfect. So just so that it passed the test right. Perfect. So if the test is passed, now we can move from this stage and then publish it right. Okay. So we also need to get some documentation, right? You have to get some documentation. Can't just publish it like that. So just go back again to the docs. We have a readme here already. So this is going to be the readme. We can actually add some documentations there. So let's add some documentations. All right, so this is going to be something something very basic, a very basic uh, documentation, right? Very basic, right? Very, very basic. That talks about how to install it and then how to use it, right? Something very basic. Okay, so later we can add more to it. So something simple. So let's go back again and then we have gotten our documentations. If I go back to the docs, there is an, there is inside the source file, you can make an index.md, right? Which is something very basic like this, right? So you can actually copy the same thing that we have here. Right, you can actually copy some of the things there and then put it here to generate the documentation, but you work on that later on. Okay, so that is something very basic now let's Go back and then push it to GitHub, right? So this is it. everything is working as expected. Our code works as expected. So I'll just move on from here. So I'll come down here. Right, the same place that you know. So everything is there as expected. We want to be able to push it right to GitHub. So I'll just go back to my GitHub account. And then I will want to put it not on here, but I want to put it here, right? not on the jcarry stack i can also put it there but i want to put it inside my default one so let's put it here right my personal one okay, so let's create a repository go back here new repository i'm going to call the repository contractions right so the name of it is going to be contractions dot jl right that is the name of it don't forget the dot jl very important I'm going to specify what it does to so simple uh, contraction. No, simple package, right? Mm, let's call it a simple NLP. It is, say, test cleaning package for fixing contractions in a given test, right? Something like that. Something like this, right? So, and I'm is let's make it public. I'm going to make it public, and I'm going to add a readme, and I'm also going to add a license. So the license must comply with the license that we had, which was the GitHub license. So we have it as my MIT license. Yeah, it must comply. So all these things we are doing here must comply with what we had inside our workflow. So inside our workflow, if I go back to the workflow, we had here we have the CI/CD. No, here, yeah, yeah, right not this place yeah the license was MIT MIT license if I go back to the project to my file we have all this so it must comply to these things right it must follow these things otherwise it's not going to work so it must comply to all of these things that we had here so that's why I'm trying to do all of these things right so let's make sure that the version is 0 0.1 
let's make all the versions 0.1 hopefully all the versions are 0.1 go back here 0.1 because the version info is very important yep everything is perfect as expected okay now you can just put it right so everything is there so now in case i want to push it to get up we are creating a folder first so i'll go back again i'm going to create a folder this is public contractions or jail perfect right that's the name you're using i just go back again and i'm going to clone this particular one so copy this one and go back to my workspace the same place that my contractions were and you can see the difference this is called contractions right but the name of the package is going to be contractions.jl so it's going to be like this so my git clone this contractions.jl so there are two different folders right so that it doesn't conflict if i check it out you have contractions and then contractions so i'll be pushing this one into this other things there so i'll go back again and copy the things here into that right so what i'll do is i'll copy everything from here into my contractions right yeah we're going to replace you are going to be replacing some of them we replace the replace all of them right perfect so if i go back to my github repository this here and i check it out inside my contractions dot geo if i check it out you can see that everything is there right so this would be pushing right everything works as expected so the readme is there the pipe build the tomato file so now i can just push it to get up to get add everything so i'll just go with add dot right if i check with the status get status so you see that these are the things there and i can just go with get add i want to add everything there then git commit so let's give it a name so i'm going to call it as let's say contractions dot geo v 0.01 right then git push so as, as, as for my name and my details perfect so now it is there right it has been pushed there if i go back and i check it out again to my main package here if i check it out everything is there right all the things we need so we have the documentation there we have one minute ago we have the source the test the license everything is there let's check the project the file to make sure that everything is as expected the version is correct the package name the contributor everything is as expected now i can just go back. i can even change this i have to modify this right don't worry we will still keep it like that and then i'll just go back again so that we have the docs there right we have the docs dev we have the both status because we have not pushed it we have the code dev unknown code coverage and then we have the documentation right so we just have to add it on your system very simple right together with the usage very cool right not that bad okay so we have we have some simple documentation that anybody can know the package and see how to use it okay so how do we make sure that it's available here right so to make sure that it's available here all you need is just go back to this particular place so we had this option here right so i'll just copy this one to this go to the julia registry if i go to julia registry here we are going to be adding it to a, a registrar to our package right so the steps we are working on now is on how to publish so to publish it first of all we are going to push your code to github then you just go to julia registry registrator then go to add this particular code right add this bot and this bot has already been added because of this bot has been added already it was added when we added this particular workflow option see see me let me go back so the workflow was not pushed there the workflow was not pushed there. so let's push that workflow there the workflow was not also pushed there so you have to push the workflow there right so this was the workflow let's go back and check make sure that the workflow was there so control h i'm going to copy this ones there also so i'm going to copy them and push it there right we need to make sure that these things are here it's very important so let's replace all of them Permission denied. Yeah, let's skip it. So 
to skip all yeah, this is the most important right this is very important right so you have to push this one day so the moment you push this one day is also going to identify so i'll just go back again to the new place to get status so we have this particular option here mm, let's redo it again so get add everything get commit contractions added workflow then git push it. yep so the current branch must have no upstream so git push upstream sometimes when you are pushing and all of the things that's one of the things i always wonder why we most of the time have this particular stuff so jcaris like password so now i pushed it there so let's make sure that it was there so yeah so let's compare and pull Yeah, so there's nothing compatible right so there's nothing compatible there so everything is as perfect as, as supposed to be perfect right yeah so everything is okay right so i'll go back and compare and pull request Yeah, I'll just go back to the pull request here. Everything is perfect as we know. Then I'm just going to call it as let's say be a new pull request. It's going to create a pull request. Two minutes ago. So we are, we're having an issue here, right? Uh, see, I try to compare. So we have the main branch and the master branch, right? Main but master branch is supposed to compare and you see that there's nothing to compare. If I go back here, apologies for this. Yeah, if I go back, it's not like compare and put right, but main and master are the same. And you look at the main, this is the main, the, the workflow is not there. But if I check the master, because we pushed it up upstream master, the workflow is they want to make sure that the workflow is also in the master right there's another way we can do that so i'm just going to go back again i check it out we have put it back so this is part of the master so get branch so we are in the main branch so i'm just going to get commit let's add it first perfect then get commit let's call it add, added but let's call it as let's change it so added workflow to me so git then push with put in my details and now i can just put in my command if i check it back everything is there perfect so if i go back to my github if i go back to my github and let's check it out perfect right so now we see that we have the in the main branch we have the workflow so compare and pull request so nothing to compare or pull right so almost everything is the same thing there are no difference there are no changes we check it back again to the main branch there's nothing to compare right perfect so now i'll just go back again to the pull request and then let's This is supposed to work but don't worry we'll cover it later so that is the basic understanding behind our work so far right very simple very nice so we are done with this we have seen how to work on publishing it to github now let's see how to work with the registrar so i'll go back again to the registrar which is this particular place here the registrar registrator then i'm going to add this registrator icon to my app so click on this one it's still up it's going to ask me where do i want to put this registrator so I just want to go back to my main account here. Right, and I want to confirm access. So let me paste in my code. Yeah, this is better. It helps you. <laughs> yeah. So I want to install it not everywhere, but I want to install it in a specific place. Right. I want to install it not in all of them, but I want to install it inside my contraction contraction. So jail. This is where I want to install the app. 
then save so it's going to add it perfectly to our packet right so it's adding it this is permission was allowed everything is working suspected yeah so that's added to this particular account so now i just go back again to the account itself which is here and i have to go back and create an issue yes we will face this one later so i just go back again create an issue here so the issue is going to be according to the documentation that we had from here we are supposed to to the registrar right it so let's go back again to the registrar we are supposed to put in this particular code the code that we have here this particular julia registrar register so i just go back again to this place that's what is being specified here so i'm going to copy this go back to my app to the workspace i'm going to put as register is a new issue i'm creating let's create a new issue called register now let's go back so i'll go back again let's create a new issue i'm creating a new issue here right i'm going to give it as the name register Right, and i'll paste in this comment comment here right it's very important don't change it this must be the name so it's going to identify it perfect just identify it then if everything works it's going to see this particular result right so blah 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 it's still internal that you're supposed to target right so automatically stored or coming down manually through this we already have the bot already because it was already there we if you go back again and check it you already had our bot there so let's go back again for the github workflow we already have this particular bot command here right the bot there so it's automatically going to do the stuff for us right or you can actually tag it as you wish so tap See, this is a command we need to use. So that is it, right? So anytime you add something, it's going to automatically do that for you. So let's paste it back again. And then commit. It takes some time. So this thing we are doing is going to take some time. It's going to take about three days for it to appear here. So if I go back to the GitHub registry here, right? This is the GitHub registries. If I go back to the pull request, you're going to see that the package that I pushed there, the contractions.gl here, see that is here, right? You can see that the contractions.gl is already has been added here, right? New package. It's going to take some time for before it is accepted. This was one I did today. So I have to fill it because it is having some failures the, the documentation is not there but it's still in progress right zero checks that's how to publish your packages on github so you have seen how to go through the simple workflow how to design your package using two different methods test it publish it on package on github right and see how to also work with the documentation so we'll be working on the documentations later and for the publishing we saw how to push to github use this particular option here as we saw here right and then everything is working there as you can see perfect and you can see that this thing that we registered is already on the pull request here right so that's how to work with it so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put it at the comment section below and see you in the next session stay blessed and you can also check the links below for some interesting materials to help you master machine learning and python i also have some courses on udemy that you can also check see you another time stay blessed